We still have four minutes. Good morning, Highland. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Highland Seventh Avenue Church. We're super thrilled to have our Highland Academy music department here to do our church service today. And I just want to begin with a prayer, then we will hand it over to the band. Dear Father in heaven, as we come to worship in music, we pray that you would Proclaim your praises through these young people. Let the message that they have to sing and play for us and be glorifying and uplifting to you. Fill our hearts with your spirit, with your love during this time. In Jesus' name, amen.
Well, good morning, Highland Seventh-day Adventist Church and friends. We want to welcome you again to the Highland Church. And I know there are a lot of visitors, as Pastor Steve said. Many of you have come from far and wide to see these wonderful students and uh, friends to be able to hear God's praise and worship through him and through the gifts that they've given him. Amen? Amen. This is an incredibly uh, talented group. And Alvi, we love you. We, we know a lot of hard work has gone into this, and we're excited to be led in praise and worship today. Um, we have some announcements to take care of before we move on. Uh, one that is really pressing is our angel project, our community service. We are, we are adopting uh, a bunch of families, and we're excited that there are 74 uh, different families, angels that have been adopted. And you are to bring your presence uh, wrapped, if possible, December 16 to the church. December 16 to the church. And then on the 17th, the next day, uh, if, if you need to help wrap, uh, wrapping will start at 10 o'clock. And then we need some help delivering the gifts as well. And that'll be at 1130 as well. So that's our angel project. And so if you are part of our church family, you know what that is. We're just excited to be uh, doing this project. If you don't already, out on the two little tables, we have just a little bulletin flyer. We did not include it in the program. For those that are church members and want to know the different church life going on, we obviously have a newsletter that goes out, an email newsletter. If you don't belong to that, go to our website, highlandadventist.org, and uh, click on subscribe and go ahead and put your email address in, and that tells you all the stuff that's happening in our church. We're a very active church with the, the academy and the elementary school and just all the things that are happening. So obviously today we have the academy and uh, they're going to be leading us in worship. Then this week we also have a pancake breakfast. We have the Christmas program for the elementary school. That's going to be on the 14th at 7. It's called Camel Lot. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And uh, and just want to encourage you to come out and support uh Highland Elementary School and all the kids, uh, we're excited to, to see that. So that'll be December 14 at 7 at the Leroy Parish Family Life Center. That's the gym up at the elementary school for those that don't know what that is. As well as we have our, our Candlelight Christmas Eve service, it's going to be a time of music and praise. Just come out. I think Pastor Steve said even bring your instruments if you want to join with us as, as we praise and worship that Christmas Eve, Friday night. And that's going to be at 7. Uh, I'm looking... That is at, excuse me, 4.30 p.m. And then to close off the year, we're doing a special agape communion feast. Soup will be provided, but if you decide to come, it's going to be here in the church fellowship center. And you'll, uh, we're providing the soup, but come and we'll have, if you can, bring bread or crackers or some fruit platter or whatever. And we're going to just have a special agape feast as well as communion time to, to ring in the new year and, and praise God for what he's done in this past year as well. And there's a lot of people in here whose prayers have been answered, who have been a part of our journey, faith journey this year. And we have a lot of prayers that are still yet to be totally fulfilled. And we're waiting for healings, we're waiting for miracles, and we're still praying for those things. So I just want to encourage you here at Highland, we have a prayer card. And because church is a little different, we're going to do it a little different. If you have a prayer request on that prayer card in the pew, it's the, prayer, the white one, go ahead and take it, fill it out. And at the end of the service, go out and put it in the offering box, and we'll make sure the elders pray over it. It's a part of our intercessory prayer team that the elders take those prayer requests, and they're confidential. And we get to join with you as you lift up your family, your friends, yourself in praises and prayer requests. So don't just, don't just put down prayer requests. Put down praises, too, because we want to praise God for how awesome he is in a lot of these different things that he's doing in our lives. And so, again, we just praise God that you've decided to come worship today. I'm going to read a Psalms as my prayer. So if you want to open your Bibles, you can and join me in Psalms 96. Psalms 96. And it says this. Sing a new song to the Lord. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. He's to be feared above all gods. And then it goes down just a little, little bit further, verse 11. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. So Highland Church and Highland Academy, thank you for joining us and allowing us to join with you in praising our God and Savior.
Evidence can be... Evidence Community Services is God's invitation to do amazing things through Him. Hard times come in all shapes, sizes, and backgrounds, and Adventist Community Services is responding to individual needs, developing relationships, and committing to make a difference in people's lives. Throughout the North American Division, ACS supports community outreach programs by meeting needs in the local communities, ministering to the whole person, and seeking to preserve each person's dignity even while they're being helped. At Highland Adventist Community Services, this takes the form of a thrift store. Church and community members donate clothes and other household items that are still in good condition, and we offer them to the public at the lowest prices around. The goal is to keep things very affordable so that customers can get what they need but still have the dignity of buying the items rather than just getting a handout. We have regular customers, some of whom come from quite a ways out, who say that the reason that they keep coming back is because not only are the prices low, but they know that all of the proceeds go directly into helping the community. Beyond the thrift store, we offer books and literature in both English and Spanish. We partner with Portland Pay It Forward to aid with community food security and coordinate holiday food and gift baskets. When people in our community face unexpected disasters like fires or floods, the volunteers at Highland Community Services are happy to help them, donating what is needed to help them get back on their feet from items in the thrift store. All of our dedicated staff are volunteers, but they feel highly paid in a different kind of wages. Our payment is not in monetary value. It's really in serving the Lord and the fellowship among our volunteers and of course, as the patrons come to the door to shop. That's our payment. Come see how Highland Community Services is impacting our community. They're open Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays from 1 to 4 p.m. You can help by praying for them, by volunteering some of your time and talent, and by donating. To donate financially, just mark your tithe envelope ACS, and you can put that tithe envelope in the offering box in the foyer or you can donate online at highlandadventist.org slash giving. Thank you for your continued support. Amen. So this Sabbath, all our offerings are going to your community service that we have here in Highland. If you want to donate, again, the foyer, there's, a, there's an offering box if you want to do that, or else go to highlandadventist.org. Let's pray. Our precious Father, thank you so much for our gifts the gift of having a job, the gift of health. And therefore, we provide our community, we provide our, our churches around here with our tithe and offerings. So we ask in a special way that you continue to bless this community. Bless, bless us today, Father, as we continue to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Morning, church. Happy Sabbath. I don't know about you, but I've already been blessed by all this music. I had no idea when Dr. Ruckel asked me to fill in for him that this wonderful program would be going on. It's time for our church family prayer. For those of you that are able, please kneel with me as we go before the Lord. Good morning, Lord. Happy Sabbath. Thank you for this wonderful day you've given us, for all this wonderful music, for the Academy being here, blessing us with that music, and all that glory goes to you. This is a time of year when we stop and think about your first coming, and we look forward to you coming again. What a wonderful time that will be. Oh, Lord, you've blessed us with two wonderful schools, and over and over again, we get to see your hand working out in these kids. And this Thursday, we'll be able to see the wonderful program by our elementary school, too. Lord, as we look forward to you coming, we know those are, there are those among us that are sick, and we ask a special blessing on them. For those that couldn't be here today, we thank you that some of them will be able to watch us online and have the blessing of uh, seeing this group here and as we look forward to co a coming week and to your second coming we ask that you will help us to be ready that we will draw closer to you and that by doing so as we learned in our sabbath school today the others around us no matter where we are will see there's something different about us and will want to know and will turn their hearts to you Please be with Pastor John as he speaks today. Give him the words to say and help us to incorporate that into our lives. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Highland Academy is really pleased to be here this morning and you are here today to worship God as we start our Christmas season. We would like you to participate with us as we sing. In the program it says Highland Sings. That refers to you. So if you could please join us. You're going to see the words and then at times it says ladies or gentlemen or choir or choir and congregation. If you could please follow that and please feel free to join us as we sing a couple of familiar Christmas carols.
When you think of the Christmas story, you think about heaven reaching out to touch that heavenly choir, that music that must have been so astounding to the shepherds that night as heaven chose to reach out and touch our earth with this little baby, this Jesus that has made such an impact. There may be a few of you here that still remember that that song called Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand, Make This World a Better Place If You Can, and that little reaching out was associated with, surprisingly enough, the telephone. I have this story that I like to share at this time of year about the black telephone, about reaching out and touching. You're going to have to provide your own Kleenex. Those of us old enough to remember, when the telephone used to be wired to the wall, it was usually in the kitchen. I can relate to this story, and that's why when I was a young boy, this story goes, my father had one of those very first telephones in our neighborhood. I remember the polished old case that was fastened to the wall. The shiny receiver hung on the side of the box, but I was too little to even reach it. I used to listen with fascination to my mama when she talked to it. But then I discovered that somewhere inside of that wonderful device lived an amazing person. Her name was, information please, and there, and there was nothing that this woman did not know. Information please could supply everyone's number and even the correct time. My personal experience, writes the author, with this genie in a bottle came one day while my mother was visiting a neighbor. I was amusing myself at the tool bench down in the basement. I whacked my finger with a hammer and the pain was terrible, but there seemed no point to cry because there was no one there to give me sympathy. I walked around the house sucking my throbbing finger and finally climbing up the stairway and I spied the old black telephone. Quickly I ran to the footstool and dragged it up in the parlor and took it up to where the old phone was and I climbed up on it and I unhooked the receiver in the parlor and I held it to my ear. Information please. I said into the mouthpiece, just like my mama. A click or two, and then a small, clear voice spoke into my ear. Information? I hurt my finger, I wailed into the phone. The tears came just as readily now because I had an audience. Isn't your mother home? Came back the question. Nobody's home but me, I blubbered. Are you bleeding? The voice asked. No, I replied. I hit my finger with the hammer and it hurts. Can you open the ice box? She asked. I said I could. Then chip off a little bit of ice and hold it to your finger, said the voice. After that, I called information please for everything I needed. I asked for some help to do my geography. She even told me where Philadelphia was. She helped me with my math. She told me about my pet chipmunk that I had caught in the park just the day before and how it would eat fruit and nuts. Then there was the time that, that Petey, he was our pet canary, he died. I called information please and told her the sad story she listened and then said that things that grown-ups often say in order to soothe a little child but I was not consoled 
So I asked her, why is it that birds should sing so beautifully and bring joy to all the families, only to end up as a heap of feathers in the bottom of this cage? She must have sensed my deep concern at that question, for she said quietly, Wayne, always remember that there are other worlds to sing in. Somehow I felt better. Another day I was on the telephone. Information, please. Information, said the now familiar voice. How do I spell fix, I asked. Now all this took place in a small town in the Pacific Northwest. When I was nine years old, we moved all the way across country to Boston. And I missed my friend very, very much. Information, please, belonged in that old wooden black box at home. And somehow never thought of trying the shiny new phone that sat on the table in the hall in Boston. I was now into my teen years. And the memories of those childhood conversations never really left me. Often in moments of doubt and perplexity, I would recall the serene sense of security that I had then. I appreciated just how patient and understanding and how kind information, please, was to this little boy. A few years later, on my way west to college, my plane sat down in Seattle, Washington. Oh, I had about a half hour or so between planes I spent 15 minutes or so on the phone with my sister who lived there now, and then without thinking what I was doing, I dialed my hometown operator and I said, information please. Miraculously, I heard the small clear voice that I knew so well, information. Now I hadn't planned this, but I heard myself saying, could you please tell me how to spell fix? There was a long pause. Then came the soft-spoken answer. I guess your finger must have been healed by now, she said. I laughed. So it's really you, I said. I wonder if you have any idea how much you meant to me during all those times. I wonder, she said in response to me, if you know how just so much your calls meant to me. I've never had any children, and I used to look forward to your calls. I told her how often I had thought of her over the years and asked if I could call her again when I came back into town to visit my sister. She said, please do, just ask for Sally. Well, as it happened, three months later, I came back to Seattle. A different voice answered the information, please, this time. I asked for Sally. Are you a friend, she said. Yes, a very, very old friend, I answered. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Sally has been working only part-time the last few years because she was sick. She died five weeks ago. Before I could hang up, though, she said, wait a minute. Did you say that your name was Wayne? Yes, I answered. Well, Sally left a message for you. She wrote it down in case you might call. Let me go and read it to you. She found the note, and then she said, tell him that there are other worlds to sing in. He'll know what I mean. I thanked her, and I hung up, for I knew exactly what Sally meant. In Revelation, we find just the verse for that, where John said, I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. 
They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And he shall wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, no more mourning, no more crying, and no more pain. For the old order of things has passed away. And he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Don't forget to reach out and touch this Christmas.
on behalf of uh, the entire Highland community, that is you, our schools, and the people that make them up, thank you for joining us today. I pray that you were moved as much as I was. Um, before we pray, I just want you to know that our young lady who, uh, whose blood sugar got the best of her a little bit is doing just fine. Uh, let's pray together. Father God, we thank you so much uh, for your son and the gift that he is and was to us. And so, Lord, today I pray that as we leave this space that we will be reminded of you and your goodness. Lord, that the, the, the power of music uh, will draw us to you and that we would know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So, Lord, thank you for the love that you bestow upon us. Lord, may we reach close to the ones who are next to us, give them a big hug and a smile, and, Lord, may you come soon. Until you do, Lord, may you find us faithful. We ask this in your name. Amen.